This is the foundation to what has become known as the Blessings Home. We're hoping to build this home really soon so that we can fill it with our men who are anxiously awaiting from Cottage 2. The foundation to this home was laid at the same time next door um, to the home for ladies, the Bledsoe Home, and we've been talking about it since 2007. Um, the ladies home, thanks to a wonderful donor, was able to be built and open in 2009. And I'm still promising the men at Cottage 2 that we're going to open this home soon. One young man in that home has been waiting for 16 years for a new home. The main thing is for their health and safety. Our men in that cottage are aging and there are lots of steps that they have to maneuver. It's an older building. We can do other things with it um, that would serve young people probably a lot better. But this home is very much needed for the men in Cottage 2 and perhaps others in the community who also need services. The benefits of having everything on one floor is that um, the men are accessible to laundry, to showers, handicap accessible showers. They don't have to maneuver steps to go to a meal or to get to their bedrooms. It's hard coming down. When I, when I get my, when my feet go slow, I cannot get my, my feet I cannot move my feet much longer, but I had these, um, I mean, my legs having all these problems. As our men age, or as all of us age, we have fall risk, and uh, steps increase that risk. And so if we have their living quarters, their laundry, their meals, and everything all on one floor, it is uh, much better for their safety. This program benefits families because there is a safe, secure, faith-based place for their loved one uh, and they don't have to worry anymore about what's going to happen uh, if they get sick or pass away. Um, families can be secure in knowing that um, their loved ones are being cared for in a very special way, uh, the way that they would do it, that there are activities planned for them, that they are part of the community um, just the way you and I are. My wife and I, Ellen, and I got involved with the DDM when uh, we were looking at uh, what would be a good future for Ellen's brother, Ricky. We were able to uh, to work with, with Hope Tree and, and Ricky came to live at the, at the uh, Hope Tree Cottage before Ellen's mom died, which was a super relief to her because uh, she knew she could not take care of him. He had lived with them again on the farm for so many years and then uh, uh, it was just a, really, a real blessing for him to have a, a good place to come and it has turned out to be a real godsend. He just, he loves it. Ricky lives now in the older cottage, and it is pretty old. Um, the uh, the Bledsoe home, which uh, um, our family, and especially Ellen's family, uh, have given uh, towards, uh, we just really feel like it was such a blessing, and, and uh, we've been to a number of social events up there to introduce people to it and just to see what, how those ladies live there and how much they enjoy it and what a, uh, a wonderful facility it is. Uh, the men at this point don't have that uh, blessing uh, of that facility, but hopefully we'll be having it soon. And we look forward to Ricky having a, a really nice new uh, facility to live in, home to live in. You know the people and be alone together. Won't be doing steps going up. It. <laughs> That's one thing. It's, it's just, I can't say enough about what the need is, and especially if someone wants to look at the Blazo home and see what it's really going to be like. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a reality it's, that's going to come to pass because we already got the foundation in if we can just come up with the, the monies to, uh, to fund it, to build it.